Hi guys, this is Virendra. Today I'm going to talk about a problem based on Excel sheet row numbers. So the question is, how would you convert a row number in Excel to a label and vice versa? Okay. In Excel, we have letters A to Z denoted by this row IDs or row numbers from 0 to 25. Okay. So we have like 26 letters, right? So if we go ahead and create labels after that, that is from AA to ZZ, they will go from 26 to 701 and so on for three letters. So we need to find a way to convert the labels into row numbers and row numbers to labels. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at a few insights. Let's see how many row numbers are there for single letter, two letter and three letter labels and try to come up with some kind of formula of converting a label to a row number. So there are like 26 row numbers for single letter labels, right? For two letter row numbers, we'll have 26 square row numbers, right? So in total, if you add up 26 and 26, 26 plus 26 square, you'll get 702. Since we start, start from zero, the last element here, last label here is having a row number of 701. And how about three letter labels? You will have 26 cube row numbers. This is one insight. Let's go to the second insight. The question is how, how to calculate row numbers given a character string. For single letters, we already know designated row numbers A to Z, they go from 0 to 25. How about AA? How do you calculate the row number for AA? The first step is to convert base 26 to base 10. Okay. And then once we have the base 10 value, we add it to the number of previous row numbers that we have. So after calculating the base 10 value for AA, we'll add 26 to that because AA lies serially after Z, right? So it's after how many, how many row numbers? 26. So whatever base 10 value we have, we add 26 to that. Okay. So base 10 value plus previous row numbers. So how do you calculate the base 10 value? We'll use the formula that we generally use to convert one base to another. For this case, we'll start with the tenths place. So a into 26 power one, which is 26 is the base, right? So since this is the tenths place, we have the power one here and we add a into a is at the units place, right? So a into 26 power zero, this is base 10 value of a. a. So for that, what we will get is what is a's value zero here also a's value zero 26 power one is one 26, right? So in total, we get how much 26 the uh, the value of AA the Excel row number of AA is 26 let's try to do that for AB let's calculate the base 10 value A into 26 power 1 because it's at the it's at the tenth place plus B into 26 power 0 and plus the previous row numbers right the number of row numbers here for single letter so that will be 0 into 26 plus 1 into 1 plus 26 it will give you 27 the row number for AB is 27. Let's try to do that for ZZ. Okay. How do we come up with 701? We'll see here right away. First calculate the base 10 value Z into 26 power 1 plus Z into 26 power 0 plus the previous row numbers, right? So uh, what is the value of Z? Z's value is 25, right? We know that already. And 25 into 26 plus 25 into 1 plus 26. That will give you 701. Okay. So let's try to derive an equation from this. So given a string S with N letters X, I, where each letter is denoted in the range of zero to 25, we need to find out a row number by using the formula base 10 value plus previous row numbers. Okay. So what is the base 10 value? How do we come up with an equation uh, looking at this? Here's the equation for that. So N is the number of letters in string S, right? xn minus 1 is the letter at n minus 1th place. So there are two letters here, right? So this is 0 and this is 1, okay, where n is equal to 2, right? So xn minus 1 into 26 power n minus 1 plus xn minus 2 plus into 26 n power n minus 2, okay, till x0 into 26 power 0. So in this case, for zz, you have n equal to 2 it boils down to x1 into 26 power 1 plus x0 into 26 power 0, right? So in place of x1, we have z and x0, we have z. That's how we computed 701. 
let's go ahead and see if we can come up with a formula for previous row numbers okay now the question is how do we come up with a formula for previous row numbers right so it's pretty straightforward it's basically 26 power n minus 1 plus 26 power n minus 2 up till 26 power 1 okay so if you're looking at a label of length n then the previous row numbers will be 26 power n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus so on okay so here if you are looking at the label zz it's of length 2 so what is the value of previous row numbers 26 power n minus 1 which is 2 minus 1 26 power 1 right let's go ahead and try to put these two together so if you have this base 10 value and the previous row number i have put them together here base 10 value plus the previous row numbers okay and when when you take few things common and do some math magic here you'll get this okay so x0 plus x1 plus 1 26 power 1 and so on okay please notice that all these terms are factors of 26 just keep this in mind we'll we're going to use this so let's look at the first algorithm we need to find a row number if s is given so for example if you are given s equal to abc we need to find out the row number corresponding to this string we are going to use the formula here what is the formula this is the formula right we are just going to substitute all the values here please note that x0 is starting from the unit units place 0 is units place 1 is tenths place and so on okay so in place of x0 we put c in place of x1 we put b and x2 a okay we just use the formula and finally what we get we get 2 plus 1 plus 1 and so on and we get the value 730 let's go ahead and look at the code for this quickly the code is exactly like the formula you can just go through it if you have any doubts leave your comments let's go ahead to algorithm 2 so in, in algorithm 2 we need to find a string if row number is given so you are given a row number we need to find out the string it's the other way around what do you know about row number row number is equal to this formula right so you need to find out the string based on the row number so how, how do you find out the units place character you'll take a mod by 26 why would this work because notice here that except x0 all the terms in this particular formula are divisible by 26 right only the remaining is x0 so that's how we'll get x0 that is the units place character next how do we extract x1 that is the question now so what are we going to do is we are going to divide uh, row number by 26 so what will happen is this goes away this becomes power one right and this goes away the remainder goes away so what what remains is x plus one plus x2 plus one 10 26 power one and so on so we want x1 right we have x0 now we want x1 what are we going to do are we going to do a mod for ronum dash directly that will give give us x plus x1 plus one not x1 right is this a correct way I don't think so because this is going to give us x1 plus 1 it's not going to give us x1 so what we are going to do is we are going to subtract 1 from pronom dash by which we'll end up with x1 plus other terms right finally we'll get x1 by doing a mod on pronom dash minus 1 and let's go ahead and try to repeat the process once we get x1 x0 we again do pronom dash minus 1 divided by 26 then we get this right so x1 terms goes away because we have divided it so then we get x2 plus 1 plus dot 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 x n minus 3 and so on and we can extract x2 uh, similarly okay so that's the procedure to do it now let's look at an example to understand this process so if you have row number equal to 700 you're first going to do a mod on 700 that will result in 24 which is equivalent to y so you you have got the units place value which is y now what you are going to do is we are you are going to divide 700 by 26 which will result in 26 and then subtract 1 from 26 take a mod of that which will result in z okay so the string you get is zy this exact same process is replicated in the code first what we do is we do a mod okay then divide then mod and then divide please let us know if you have any queries and comments and stay tuned to the channel thank you for watching the video we are uploading many more articles and algorithms on www.idsub.co.in 
please check them out and leave your feedback. We are also inviting contributions to our portal. If you are interested, please send an email to idsof.co.in at gmail.com.